Gamers, gamers, what is up, gamers? Okay, okay. Um, it's been super busy week. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Let's let's get rolling. Okay, feature number one. Um, support powers, abilities, whatever you call them. We got a few of them here. Um, they're kind of represented right now by these little bars on the bottom. But check this out. Okay, I press one on the keyboard. Boop. Oh, what's that? What's gonna happen? It's rods. It's rods from God. That's what it is. All right, that's on a timer. That cost me command points to use. I have other buttons. I have the number two. What's that gonna do? Oh my God. It's a missile. And look at these. Explosion decals on the ground. Damage. Um, let's launch a missile. You know, you can only launch them so close. Outside that's outside range. You gotta get closer. That's close enough. Here comes the missile. Boom. You love to see it. Um, teleport home ability. You're somewhere else on the map. You need to go back home. Boom. You're back home. Awesome. All right. We got a couple new buildings. Uh, that happens. Okay. We got the missile silo. This thing takes forever to build. This is a game ending building. Um, takes a lot of money to build. Has a timer for two minutes. At two minutes, this is gonna launch a giant missile. Oh wait, I changed, oh, haha. <laughs> well, you'll see that this missile will go across the whole map and just go ahead and blow up. Yep, there it goes. Boom. Yeah, that's game over. I, uh, I forgot I only had that set for, for like two seconds for testing. Okay, well, that's one way to end the game. Costs a lot of money to build that. Prevents stalemates, prevents, you know, just multiple win conditions. Um, <laughs> we have the uh, destroyer tank, which isn't gonna work for some reason. Will you work? No, okay. Yeah, that's one bug I've ran into. Uh, for some reason, this, this just doesn't always work all the time, especially when I package the build. We'll try and fix that. But the destroyer tank, it's totally in here. Uh, right now, it's just a very giant, normal um, AI attack tank. Uh, very heavy, huge, very slow, does tons of damage. Kind of like another epic unit, you could say. Um, but instead of building it from a factory, you just place it down as a structure. It takes like 10 seconds. And then it'll just go towards the enemy base, destroying everything it sees in the way. We got new guys, new little guys. Um, worked on uh, the attack tank. Building complete. Just a little guy. Oh, I know. Yeah, look at him. He's so cute. Oh, yeah. Hold up. They're trying to go towards the headquarters, but our, I blew it up already. Okay. Now. Building. Little guys. Small little cute little guys. Oh. <laughs> Infinite loop detected, my favorite kind of loop. Um, we'll have to look at that. Okay, anyways, little guys. They're fast, they're little, they build faster. Um, they're just little guys. Uh, they will also ignore other units and just, just head towards buildings. So like, they'll shoot at me. So here they come, they're shooting at me, but they just keep going. They don't care. They only stop to attack structures, but they'll just shoot at anything along the way, but they won't stop to engage anything along the way. They'll just shoot on the fly. See, they're, they're little compared to the other guys. That's why I call them little guys. Okay, and one last thing. I got five different weapons I've made for player tanks now. All sorts of fun. Um, you know, you got your basic cannon. And right now I can just switch between them um, whenever I want to, uh, whenever the game's finished. You'll be able to play as different character tanks. Each tank will have its own weapon, its own armor and speed, etc. cetera. Um, but for now, I can just switch between them. So that's that. You know, here's like an artillery shell uh, that you can shoot. Very fun. Next we have uh, the homing missiles which I think I demoed last time. 
Uh, shoots four missiles that home in on targets. All right, but we'll get some targets coming here. Um, again, they track. Look at that. You only kind of have to aim. They'll do the rest. See if they can keep up with these little guys. Oh yeah, okay. So that's the uh, the missiles, kind of cool. You have to aim close enough to them uh, for, for them to track. So if I aim far away, you'll see they won't track. But if I'm, as long as I aim close, they'll track the, the nearest enemy to my cursor. Uh, you'll also see there's decals for when tanks die. They have explosions. They also lead flames for a while, which is pretty cool. Um, so that is that weapon. Next we have, what do we have next? Oh yeah, the flame forever. <laughs> wow, yes, bird. Um, shorter range, does kind of like damage over time. If it's caught in the flames, um, you know, I'm not gonna say any of this is balanced right now, but uh, you know, I kind of like just messing around with these. And then the last weapon I've made so far is the ion strike from orbit. <laughs> Um, you know, pretty self-explanatory there. Pretty cool. It also leaves a explosion decal, no matter what. I'm calling my missile strike. You can see how effective that is. Um, calling the rods from God. That that does a pretty good job. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, and then just a couple other things. Um, you can no longer build too far away from your tank. So there's like a radius. So for example, I can't build something over here because it's too far away from my tank, but if I get closer, I can build there now. So that, you know, that just prevents you from being able to build something all the way over here if you have an outpost or build an outpost all the way over there. So yeah, it's been a very productive week. Lots of fun, fun things, fun improvements. Lots of fun stuff in the pipeline, although I have some family visiting next week and some vacations slash trips I'm going on, so... I'll try and get as much progress done as I can because I'm enjoying it right now. A lot of fun. No longer dealing with the networking so much for now. Fingers crossed. I have uh, a sinking feeling that I'm going to have to try and optimize the network replication. I think it's using probably way too much bandwidth at the moment um, based off of a couple tests I did. But I'm just going to not think about that for now and let future me think about that whenever future me has decided he's tired of enjoying life.